wet and it will be wet at times today with more rainfall on the way. I do think we'll see a few thunderstorms late this afternoon, primarily in southeast Iowa. I'm not seeing any threat for severe weather, but that's when we'll see the heaviest rainfall and some rumbles of thunder. It is going to be windy tomorrow with some light snow mixing in tonight through Thursday, so don't be shocked. We're in store for quite a change right now, though. It's still warm enough that we're seeing mainly spring showers. 48 degrees. The winds are out of the northeast at 13 overnight. We saw more rainfall in southern Iowa with a quarter to a half inch of rain already coming in a quarter of an inch at the top of the hour here at the city of Des Moines and all of this rain is lifting to the north northeast associated with this low pressure system. So there's more to the south where you've seen the blue is light rain where you're seeing the yellow is where we do have some moderate rain showers at this point. No snow just yet, but the snow is falling over Nebraska and Kansas causing problems there. Even some blizzard warnings in effect for those folks. And unfortunately, we did see some severe storm over Texas and now it's moving into Louisiana and Mississippi. So this is where the greatest threat exists for more storms strong to severe thunderstorms today. And unfortunately, there are all the ingredients here for all modes of severe weather along the Gulf Coast. We'll continue to see rainfall. It will be the heaviest in the metro this morning, but by three o'clock we should get a decent break early this afternoon from the heaviest rain before these thunderstorms pop up in southeast Iowa. Most of those will be during the evening commute and tonight with some wraparound moisture continuing to move in tomorrow. And that's that light wintry mix that will mix in with some big wet snowflakes. Now I don't think it will stick or cause any big time problems, but it may make you go, Ugh, I want it to be 70 and sunny again. The rainfall totals will be the highest in eastern Iowa from some of these thunderstorms. We'll get an additional half inch to an inch of rainfall before this strong low moves out. Now the snowfall totals, the snow will be difficult to measure, but if you do get to measure it, you may get about a half inch and very little moisture from it. On Friday, we have a storm system moving out of Minnesota into Wisconsin. It will be dry across the state this weekend. It is going to be the coolest today in western Iowa, 50s along the eastern border of the state. Tomorrow we will struggle to get into the lower 40s and the winds will make it feel almost 10 degrees colder. The winds will be out of the northwest close to 30 miles per hour. So if you see any snowflakes on Wednesday, it will be reducing visibility as well as it will be blowing around 54 today. Again, periods of rain continuing scattered showers yet tonight, a low of 37. It is going to really start to pick up overnight. The winds and the winds will be strong on Wednesday, a high of 42. On Thursday, a few flakes of snow early in the day, a high of 43. On Friday, it does look dry but windy, 51. We'll start off the weekend with some sunshine and 50. On Sunday, 52. And on Monday, right around 56. Today's weather rating did have to drop from the 10 yesterday with highs in the 70s to back in the 50s Dropped and some like yeah, wow. needed rainfall. It gets a one today. It is 